to help everyone really navigate that as best as possible. So I want to go really beach by beach here and take a look at the current red tide levels. So in the Charlotte County area, even through Sarasota County, we're looking at levels ranging from about low to medium when it comes to red tide. We're not seeing any red tide right now present in the Charlotte Harbor. As you start to move south, though, closer to St. James City, even Sanibel, and then the very start of Fort Myers Beach, we do have low levels of red tide. Here's where we start to see those very elevated levels of red tide. Just south of the Matanzas Pass, we have a meter right there picking up high levels that continues all the way down to Naples. And then we start to look at low to medium concentrations of red tide as we get closer to Marco Island. First thing in the morning, the red tide is going to be more at a lower level. Typically right now, it's pretty gusty out there. So the red tide forecast is not necessarily going to tell you that the organism, Karenia brevis, that is red tide is going to fluctuate like this. This is a wind driven model. So right now those gusty conditions are going to put you at a high risk, especially if you have upper respiratory issues. But right around six, seven o'clock, those wind speeds, they start to die down, which means we're going to be more at a moderate level when it comes to that red tide forecast. This is not just for Fort Myers Beach, one of the other areas that is dealing with high levels of red tide right now, also going to be the Naples Pier. And there's that magic time when we start to see those wind speeds slowly subsiding around six, seven o'clock. You'll notice maybe the irritation, not nearly as bad, still though going to be at a moderate level. Remember, you can always follow this information online and on air. That's fox4now.com where we are daily tracking red tide for you.